Hey, today on the board, we have a very interesting problem from the MIT Integration B, 2022 problem number three. So to get started, we have the integral from 2022 to zero, x squared minus the floor function here of x times the ceiling function of x dx. To start, I wanna break this into two integrals. We have a minus sign here, so we can split this here. And so for our first integral, and I'm actually gonna just do this separately because this one's gonna be easy, so we'll just get this out of the way. So we'll have from 2022 to zero, x squared, integrating this power rule, very simple, is gonna be x cubed over three from 2022 to zero. And then this is just gonna be 2022 in here, cubed over three minus, but when we input a zero here, we're just gonna get a zero. This is gonna be the first piece of our solution. And now the real challenge with this is the second part. We have 2022 to zero, and we're integrating the floor function times the ceiling function of x dx. Now, there's not a great way to actually integrate floor and ceiling functions, but what we can do is actually break it up and kind of look at it case by case. So what we'll do is we'll write this. We can, we can actually break up our limits into like 20, 23 different integrals. So we'll have, so for this first segment, from one to zero, if we just look at the floor from one to zero, that's gonna be zero. And then if we look at the ceiling from zero to one, it's just gonna be one. So this first piece of the integral is just gonna be a zero. Then we'll look at another segment from two to one. From two to one, our floor is gonna be one and our ceiling it's gonna be two, so this is gonna be two. We'll continue on the whole way this way. Of course, I'm not gonna write all that stuff out. And sorry, there's gonna be dx's in all these things. Then I'm running out of room, so we're gonna have, here, here will be our last term in this series. It's gonna be 2022 to 2021. The floor at in that region is gonna be 2021, and our ceiling is gonna be 2020. So obviously it's gonna be tedious if we have to deal with um, tw uh, two, 2,000 separate integrals. So what I wanna do is find some way to simplify this. What I wanna do is just kind of break out one of these things, just break out one of the 2,000 so plus integrals. Now we could write it like an integral from B to A, but you'll notice they're all separated. We just, we've separated each by a region of one. So we could actually write this as a plus one to a, but then also notice that what we have plugged in here, this is actually a, and this is actually our a plus one. So for the integral, we can actually write it as a times a plus one dx. And then what we're actually doing is we're summing this whole thing from zero, our starting point here, to 2021. So then when we integrate this, we're still gonna have our sum and then this is just a number. So when we integrate, this is gonna be a times a plus one x, but then that needs to be evaluated from a plus one to a. So when we evaluate this, we can actually take this piece out. And so we'll just write this in front. And then we're evaluating from this limit from a plus one minus a, but actually that's gonna cancel there. And this whole thing is just one. So essentially we can ignore that whole piece and we're just dealing with this series um, for a times a plus one. Next, what I wanted to do was, let's have this series again, but what I did is let's just distribute and so I'll have this as a squared plus a. You could just leave it in this form and then you could use the formula for the first um, n triangular numbers. So there's a formula for that. But I wanted, I thought this was a little more familiar, just personal preference. So I'm gonna use this. Then we can break up this into two different series. We can have this as 2021 to zero, a squared plus 20, zero to 2021 of a. So you notice what we found previously that our first term is actually gonna be zero. When we put a zero in for a squared, we have zero. So we can change this index to one and we can do the same thing here and change this index to one. But then we have a formula for each of these things. So this formula is gonna be n times n plus one over two with n being our 2021 value. And then here are some for 
a squared term is going to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. But notice here we have our n times n plus 1 in common in both, so we can factor that out. So we'll have n times n plus 1 for this, and then we'll have 2n plus 1 over 6. And then here, instead of just having a half, let's write our half as 3 over 6. So then this is going to be n times n plus 1, 2n plus 4 over 6. But we can actually write this piece here as n plus 2 over 3. So then what we'll have is just n times n plus 1, n plus 2 over 3. And this is, might be the formula you're familiar with for triangular numbers. So using this and knowing that our n is going to be 2021, 20, we can rewrite this as 2021 20, times 2022 20, times 2023 20, all over 3. And so this is going to be our value for the second integral here. Now let's just see if we can somehow combine our first piece and second piece to get a little bit of simplification. Okay, so from our integrals, we have our two values for each of the, our separate integrals that we did. And we just want to see if we can clean this up a little bit. So I do notice I can factor out a 3 uh, from the denominator and also a 1, 20, 22 from the numerator. So we'll have 20, 22 over 3 times this, what we have left is 2022 20, squared. And then here, all we're going to have left is 2021 20, times 2023. 20, but you'll notice this thing is in a familiar format. Like if this is y squared, this is y1 times y plus 1. And so this is y squared minus 1. And so what that means is this whole inner term here is just going to 1. Which means all we need to do is evaluate our 2022. 20, 2 over 3. And if we just divide that, we come up with our final answer, which is going to be 674. And that's it. MIT Integration B 2022. That was problem number three. Thanks for watching.